Hi there, I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. Now, today's house cleaning question comes from a girl who is starting a cleaning company, and she's about to go out and bid her first job. And she's really nervous. She says, I've got so much angst, I can't even face myself. She says, I'm naturally a really shy person. I have no idea what I'm supposed to say. I know I'm going to blow this. Can you help me? Yes, I can. Okay, so this is a really fun place for you to be because as you start your new business, there is going to be some angst. If there wasn't, I would be scared for you, right? You're doing something brand new. You're jumping out on a limb. You're trying something you've never done before. So yay, this is so exciting for me to see you in this position. Now you're about to go bid a customer's house and I don't know why they called you but obviously you're doing something right. It was either a flyer that you put out or someone has recommended you or someone heard that you're starting a house cleaning business or maybe they responded to a Facebook ad that you put together. I don't know how they found you, but they called you because somehow they believe you are the person that can solve their house cleaning problems. So I'm very excited about that for you. You've already done something correctly. Now, when you show up, there's what we know in, as what's called the imposter syndrome, where you think in your head, well, you know, I, I'm, I've never been a business owner. I'm kind of new at this. I don't really know what to say. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, that's in your head. And it's okay if that's in your head, but we need that to stay in your head. You don't want to bring that out to the customer and have all kind of weird body language where you're, you know, twisting your hands and you're slumped over and you're looking down at the floor when you should be looking at your customer. We don't want any of those things, right? With confidence comes the ability to present your offer in a way that makes the customer believe that you have the answer to their problem. So right now I have a whole bunch of homework for you. If you're doing your first bid tomorrow, here's what you need to do today. You need to sit down with a pen and paper and you need to write down the questions that a customer is going to ask you. And there are things like, do you work on the weekends? Do you have specific set hours that you work? Do you charge more to work on holidays? Do you bring your own cleaning supplies? Do you bring your own vacuum? What happens if you get locked out of my house? What is your plan? How, who are you going to call? Do you keep a key of mine or do I just give you an alarm code? They're going to ask you a whole bunch of questions. So walk through the questions in your mind and make up answers. Find answers that are how you're going to run your business. I do not want you to show up at your customer's place of business and start winging it and making up those answers on the spot. Because when you show up to do your initial walkthrough with a customer, and that's what we call a bid estimate. When you're doing a, a, a bid estimate for a customer, we call that the initial walkthrough. You're gonna walk through their house. They're gonna give you a little tour and they're gonna tell you about their house and what is important to them. I want you to ask them what is important to you because you'll hear all kinds of crazy stuff that you would never even have suspected. For example, there was one woman who said what was most important to her were the ridges. And what we're talking about is on the stairway that comes down, there are the rails on the stairway and on the other side of the rails, there's a little piece of wood that pokes out on the other side of the stairway. And those are the ridges. She was going to check the ridges. That's how she would know her house was clean. But then you make a note of that, okay? Because if you get in a position where your time is, is gone and you have to scoot out of the customer's house because you got to get to the next house, if there's something you have to skip on this woman's house, you don't want to skip the ridges. Because if she comes home and that is her hot button and that is important to her, if you've skipped what is important to her, you're out the door, right? She's going to let you go. So what you want to do is you want to walk yourself through all of the questions that a customer might ask you. Then I want you to come up with your own questions. I want you to have questions you are going to ask the customer. And these are questions that will help you do your job. How many children do you have? What are your children's names? What is your dog's name? These are things that you're going to be referencing for as long as you have that client. Oh yes, I cleaned Megan's room. And you know it's Megan's room because when she walked you in there and she said, this is Megan's room, you made a note that it's Megan's room. 
on your check sheet as you go through every time you clean. You're going to write down Megan's room, right? This is information you need to have. Next of all, I need you to take the questions that you have and I need you to go stand in front of your bathroom mirror. And I need you to put on your best smile, stand up straight with great posture, and I need you to ask those questions into the mirror. Watch how you look when you ask those questions. Are you asking the questions while you're looking at the floor and you're playing with your fingernails? Or are you looking at the customer right in their face and you're smiling and you're like, hey, I got a quick question for you. How about this? See, it's a very different presentation. So I need you to get really comfortable with a presentation before you go to present that in front of a client. If, if you have a family member or a best friend or somebody that can come over today, today, and walk through your house and do a pretend mock-up of the initial walkthrough, that would be my awesome, awesome wish for you. Okay. Because if you walk through the house, they can throw things at you. Like, well, well, that's not important to me. Do you clean that anyway? Or that's not important to me. If that's not important to you, let's not clean it. Let's not spend your money cleaning something that is not important to you. Let's focus on the things that are important to you because I, I'm one person. I have a very uh, finite amount of time. I have, it's limited. I only have so much time to spend at your house, right? So you want to focus on the things that are important to that client and not the things that aren't important. But they're going to ask you questions like, what do you do every time you come? If this is the first time you've ever come to the client's house, you don't do anything yet. You haven't done anything yet. This is your first house, right? But you want to act as if. In my company, every time we come, we do this series of things. There's a little checklist and I check them off as I go through the house. The things that I check off on this checklist are things that I'm guaranteeing on my satisfaction guarantee. If there's something that's on this list that is not important to you, let me know right now. I'll cross it off. And when I come to your house, we won't do that. That's not where I'll spend my, my time and focus. And all of a sudden, it sounds like you're really professional and like you know what you're talking about because you have this confidence that comes with it. Okay. Then when you get to the customer's house, this is actually tomorrow when you show up to do the job or to, to bid the job. Wear your uniform, whatever your uniform is, wear your uniform and act as if, oh yes, this is how I dress every day when I clean my houses. They don't know this is the first house you've ever cleaned and don't tell them this is the first house you've ever cleaned. Don't tell them that. Just show up and act as if, oh yes, I do this all day, every day. Make sure that your car is clean. Make sure that you're in your uniform and make sure that you're on time. Being on time is going to be key because what you're sending is a message from day one that when I tell you I'm going to be there at 10 o'clock in the morning, I will be there at 10 o'clock in the morning. Don't show up 20 minutes late to your job interview or guess what? You're not going to get the job. Just that plain and simple. If you tell somebody something, make sure that you keep your word. That is very important from the very beginning. Now, when you get to the customer, the most important thing that you can do is to bring along with you your smile. Because it's very disarming when you show up and you're like, hey, I have answers to your house cleaning problems. I'm a happy person. I'm easy to get along with. And this is going to be a fun job. Here's the secret that you need to think about. The person that's having you come over to their house, they don't want to have eight house cleaners come to their house and bid jobs. They don't. They don't want to do this five times. They want to do it once. If you're the first person that they called, they want you to be the person that says, yes, I can help you. Here's how much it's going to cost. Here's, here's how we can work together. They want you to solve their problem. They don't want to have to keep interviewing people. So don't show up and say, well, I hope I get the job. Show up expecting to get the job. I expect to get this job. I don't want to go out and find eight other people that I have to go bid jobs for. You don't want eight people you have to interview. Let's just do a deal. What do we got to do? And, and be willing to negotiate. I got to a lady's house one time. I'm bidding a job and she says, your price is too high. All right. How far away are we? What is, what is the difference between my price and what you're willing to pay? <laughs> you know what she told me? $4. I was charging $4 too much to clean her house. And I said, well, I would hate to lose a customer over $4 per house. 
And I, I'm sure you don't want to go through all of this again, because how many people do you have to interview before you make up the $4 that you're, you're losing by sending someone away? So uh, let's split the difference. I'll come down $2 in price. You go up $2 in price. We have a deal. She's like, okay, $2 difference. Yay. And I booked the deal on the spot. What is that? Who does that? But how far away are you? And if you can work out a deal with a customer, work out a deal with a customer. So be willing to negotiate a little bit, be a little bit flexible, find out, are they just screwing around with you? I think she was just screwing around with me. I think she was just trying to get a deal or a discount or something. Like, what is that? Okay, so when you show up, you wanna show up with that confidence, you wanna show up with a smile. And then the last thing that I have to remind you to do is you have to ask for the sale. I've said this, if I've said it once, I've said it a million times. You have to ask for the sale. So when you're at the customer's house and you go through the whole process, you've asked all of your questions, they've asked you all of their questions, at the very end, you have to say these words. I would love to be your house cleaner. When do I start? I have an opening Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. Is that soon enough for you? And you have to ask for the close because you will never make a sale that you don't ask for the close. You're just not going to make it. So don't screw around. Don't waste a bunch of time. Go expecting to get the job. Show up. Give them the confidence that you're the person to get the job. Ask for the sale. And then guess what? You're hired. Boom. That was awesome, right? Okay. You got this. Go out there tomorrow. Do an amazing job. And uh, just remember what we talked about today. Because I want, I want this for you. This is the beginning of a really big, fun, exciting career for you. And that's my answer. So until I see you again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it. Mm -hmm.